Here's a quick review of Absalom's rebellion. David has many children. Three of them are Amnon, Tamar, and Absalom. Amnon did something super not nice to Tamar. Absalom heard about it and got really upset. How upset? It's time to take revenge and kill Amnon upset. Sometime later, Absalom held a feast in honor of shearing his sheep. Little did Amnon know that the feast was in honor of murdering Amnon. Long story short, Amnon was murdered and everyone ran amok. Absalom went into exile. Sometime later, Yoav wanted to reunite the father and son. He hired a wise woman from Tekoa to give a story that would make David realize the sadness of Absalom being in exile. The story was a good one. David allowed Absalom back but with two conditions. He must come through the back door and never see David face to face. Well, that didn't last long. Absalom burned down Yoav's field in protest. Perhaps some anger management? Now, Absalom was quite a handsome fellow. Think Sac Efron but with much longer hair. He used his looks and charms to rally the people to his side. Slowly, slowly, a rebellion was formed. David was pushed into hiding. After gaining some spies and having a random guy throw stones at him, the rebellion was about to come to a peak. Not before Achitofel betrayed David and advised Absalom to kill his father. Luckily, Absalom still had some ounce of Kiburav M in him and didn't want to kill his father. Hushai came to the rescue. Absalom didn't know he was actually a spy for David. Hushai went and had the plan told to David in enough time for David and his men to be prepared. Let the battle begin. Many died on Absalom's side, although David's three generals were given strict instructions not to touch Absalom. Absalom's hair got caught in a tree, leaving him in quite a sticky situation. You always told he was just hanging there and couldn't resist spearing him. After ten other men speared him, Absalom died. These are the life and times of our man Absalom, who lived a life of vanity and died because of it. Moral of the story, cut your hair and don't mess with David Amalek.